as an individual in March, you won't last long. Justin Smith, 21 and 2 with him in the lineup. That's Moody, and he was off last night. Come out with a hard closeout. He reads and gets an angle much more explosive in person than he is on film. Moody, how strong is Moses? Moody to absorb it for a two. That's Darius Day's first couple. LSU goes to their 2-2-1, two, two, three-quarter court press. It then goes to a 2-3. Moses Moody right to the heart of it, right off the over and an easy one. You cannot get mismatched in transition like Arkansas just did. Vanover cannot handle Trenton Watford in the middle part of the floor, and Moses Moody as a good pro. LSU 1-3-1 for the first time today. In the corner, and Moody, who's got 10, now has 13. They left him alone again. Moody fires and fires. LSU goes back into the zone, and Moody says, I'll shoot again. That one you can see. Moody, a little runner, that's too strong. Both teams. Moody all the way to the basket. He picks up his and Gaines did a good job. He went with him. There's Gaines jumping into him. Moody trying to create contact. Eight it up. Set up Moody and he launches oh. a three and JG Note off of a huge night last night when he had 27 and basically carried them. Gets it to Thomas one on one with Smith. High Archer, no good. And there was no one there to get that offensive rebound. Tate had it knocked away. Knight tried to tip it back up and in, couldn't. And then it was Allen who was there to fight for it off of LSU. You know, there's another team out of the SEC, the Ole Miss Rebels, I think have a really good case. Happen. Wendy's new jalapeno popper chicken sandwich and salad proved Wendy's goes all out the shooter. And it went right out of the, about a bounce off of Note. You've got to slide over and get in front of that free throw shooter in a close ball game all the time. But on, he got valuable experience when Tillman was out of the lineup for a couple of ball games, and his confidence just blossomed over a two-day period. Three ball off, seven feet, three inches tall, third-year sophomore from Little Rock who started his career at Cal Berkeley. Baseline move, Moody. He is sensational. Connor Vanover is, is staying in drop coverage. So Missouri says, fine, you're going to drop coverage on us. We're going to come right at you with momentum. To a 16-0 run at one point. Moody, wow. At the ball fake, but couldn't finish in the loose ball. Well, Lenardi's out of teams. First time that's ever happened. Well, those two nuns, I've watched them play. They, they, they cannot shoot a lick. Is that Sister Jean and her friend? Yeah, bad offense. And Arkansas rolling off 10 straight, 11 straight SEC wins. Eight-game win streak overall, 11 in conference. The lone slip-up. It looks like a group that, him, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks like a group that is anxious to play the games. Moody, catch and shoot. <laughs> Not a good one. Scramble for the loose ball. Gordon had it, lost it. Here's Tate. Four on one. Goring uh, just came off the bench after a couple of minutes of rest as this team is down seven. And his first shot rolls around the rim, but you would never know it by the way they've shot it today. 13 out of 20 from the field and six three-pointers already for this Mississippi State team. Backed away from the pace that the Razorbacks would love to play. J.D. Note. To Sills, they'll work it quickly. Moody, a little floater, no good. Tapping again, defensively. Again, Dave, the matchup zone defense. But they've got to Moody. get to Moody. Here's where Arkansas is good, though. They share the basketball. That was They've been able to be down but come back. And I, I go back and I think of the game that mattered most to them when they were down 19 at home first half against Auburn. And
Wow, tough finish. There's Van Over with that rebound. Smith. Moody had it blocked by Savion Flag. They'll get him that we saw before the COVID issues hit this club. They would grind out possessions, right? They would pull that back. Yeah. They're being the aggressor here today. And they did the same really good. Arkansas player and couldn't get to the spot. But he's been good here in the second half, has Millers. Nine of AM's 14 points. They went undefeated in February for the first time since 1994. Matter of fact, they go undefeated in February, and Texas A&M didn't even play a game. Production. Yeah, think of uh, the last 11 ball games, and they've won 10 of them, 10 in conference, the one out of conference. <laughs> Moody. Rebound to an eye on Moody here in the corner, works his way up. You've always got to know where he is on the floor. Moody, catch, shoot, got it. Game. Yeah, Dave, 12th in the country. They faced a little 2-3 matchup zone against LSU, but they really shredded that in the second half. So what type of team South Carolina has been playing like of late? Here's Vanover. Top of the key three from Moody. That won't go. Moody, little floater is good. Pretty big. Has had his entire career, but you have COVID a couple of times, and that slows anyone down. Loose basketball. Moody elevates, fires. Barely moves. Do want to push the basketball. We know against good defensive teams that we got to try to get out and run before the. Uh, defense is set up, and they're both playing to that nature. Justin Manaya comes crashing in for the offensive rebound. Justin Smith able to get his hands on it, starts to break the other way. Wide open is Moody, can't leave him. Hannibal, 6'3", 220. You got Keyshawn Bryant, 6'6", right around 200. Boy, Arkansas probably Vanderbilt. You got Texas A&M. You think about Mike White losing Keontae Johnson. So, so much occurs during the season, which is going to affect those changes and the outcome of Rewarding his coach for letting him get on the court early with a couple of threes. Moody. Oh, my goodness. This Arkansas team got to the free throw line 43 times versus Alabama, and Alabama only got there eight times. That's how you win basketball games in a long... Note. Moody. This is mental and physical poise against a very good team. All right, I gotta, I, I can't, I can't let that go. My man dropped the pass. Frank Martin dropped the pass. But when speaking of Pedro, an interesting connection with with South Carolina and Frank Martin, in that Justin Manaya, of course, the point, the uh, the guard for South Carolina, his point shot that was so effective in Athens on Saturday, not so tonight. Inside Colonial Life Arena, where South Carolina is now four of 18. We're up 28. Moody with 24. Smith with a season high 22. No February than Arkansas. They've gone from a 10 seed to a possible four seed over the last 27, 28 days. You got to be careful leaving that guy open. That's Moses Moody. He missed arm of Vanover. Yeah, he is so good, Thomas. One of the top freshmen in the country in terms of scoring. Don't allow 24 in purple if you're Arkansas to get to that free throw. Not hot defensively. And you wonder how well they've done of, uh, of shaking that Alabama win off of their system. Not easy to do coming off of a big win. Letting it get reversed easily. And Smith. He makes his presence felt to the hole too strong. Moody there, he can't get it to go, and they're back. One percent. These are two teams that both score 82 a game. Moody, a little fade away. Yeah. They will have a big matchup against 14 and 7 Carolina at the Dean Smith Center. Carolina currently in the tournament, but these are all games in which you've got to keep winning in order to right hand. Days continues to struggle from the floor. He just punched himself in the leg. He's frustrated, and Moody 
throwing it up at the buzzer. And it won't drop. Devo would be a terrific player on LSU. He's always moving without the ball. Yeah, he is. Uh, Darius Days, Ravi, 0 for 5 now from that three-point line. A 42% three-point shoot. A coach's office just to get a little feel for their personalities, what makes them tick. And uh, oftentimes we see them up and down on the sidelines and drawn on white bull issue. The quality of your shot right now is so important. Because Arkansas, they're sitting there. You fire up a bad shot, they get back-to-back -back run out for Arkansas. I gets ready to shoot the ball. Lon just tackles him and drives him up into the stands. And the fight was on, man, for about 10 minutes. Just such a vivid memory for me as an 8-year-old. But walked out of there, I remember my dad saying it. And still aggressive. is. And, and aggressive. Now, if we're going to throw a football at you on a, a basketball court, I mean, the point being, you, you don't push me around. So you're saying there's a chance for Arkansas to finish atop the as Alabama do. They shoot threes, they shoot rim shots, and free throws. They will not take tough twos in this game. Moses Moody, tough take around the rim twice and finally down. Moses Moody, he's a smooth shooter, and he gets it to go. And drive him, kick, drive him, kick. Your threes will come clean. Quinterly one of a handful of really good Alabama shooters as Moody launches too strong in all their threes but one. They're one of ten. We've had 16 fouls called the nine-minute mark in the first half. Moses Moody, corner threes, missed his last. What a matchup, Tate and Herb Jones. Moody, that's a two, and that's off. Good defense. That's within the first ten seconds of the shot clock. Your defense, Arkansas, has to be hot and on point early in the possession. Moses Moody, no good. And how about Bruno? They blur in the open floor. Long, 6 six kid from Canada, reclassified. Quiet in the first half, can explode in the second. Mm, they got to get Moody going. He knocked it away. Tough shot. Mm, Petty left his feet. That's a turnover. Turnovers for each team now. Not it up at 10. Tough shot. No good. There is Smith. You know the adage, shooters shoot. It's the only way you're going to get out of it, no? Yeah, the, the key word there is shooters. This kid is. Moody missed offensive. Uh-oh. Bruner missed a rare three-point miss tonight. Not a great three-point shooter, but if you're just joining us, a huge first half. We'll come back with 3.47 to go. I, I, I just think... There's too many teams that are going to have a resume stack up above them. Area of the game, and he completely changed Arkansas's season last week in those two games. In the paint, contested shot. That's way off and not a good in traffic plays. Well, he separated, but he put opponents by 82 points in the paint. And they are off to another one of those starts tonight. 14 to 6 points in the paint for the Razorbacks. This is on the year. Those are hot, active hands by multiple guys. Not the organ music in Bud Wall Arena. Nice cut, right? Like that tonight. Around and around. And on a team and being a great teammate. And uh, it's hard to figure with a guy like that because, you know, this is not the first time he's quit his team, right? He quit last year at Arkansas when Vandover's not in the game because, again, that pressure release on the back of the press is on the bench. Moody three, just a smooth shoot of a lot. Just a veteran play. <laughs> Pass, good catch by Moody, but he couldn't just screen her van over into a ball screen. That's such good action. That is a, everything but the block. Two blocks. Scotty Lewis played six minutes in the first half for Florida. At one point this season, Scotty Lewis was penciled in as a starter. Every game one-on-one, -on -one, he knocked the ball loose. A lot of dribble again. Eight on the shot clock. Ball break from Moody, and then a high arcer over Castleton. Can't get it the last three or four minutes. They are turning the corner, Rabbi, and being very aggressive. Not only driving the paint, but driving the rim. There's a difference. Mmm. 
Moody's open, and they find him. And a ball fake and a three. No good. How good would this building be if it was a typical year on a Tuesday night? With you in it, it'd be, it'd be yeah, dominant. Be awesome. <laughs> Arkansas looking for their seventh consecutive win. Moody, Castleton came out to block it. Post score in this league. Gators have got all the way back without Noah Locke, who's defending on this play. He's only got five points tonight. Moody. Though he'll guard Justin Smith to start things out. Arkansas coming off of a Tuesday win on the road at Kentucky. Huge win at Rupp is Moody. Vincent, the, the point guard on him. They've got to get him a touch inside. Vincent stands just 6 2. Smith switches over to him, and a floater goes from Moses. Off that loss over Ole Miss uh, in Tillman Stead. Makes it tougher. He's one of the most, if not the most improved player in the country, in all honesty. Uh, he's been outstanding in these games. Yep. See the colorful shirt Conzo Martin's wearing, the rally for Ryan logo on the front. It's been an emotional series matchup with these teams. Most of those came at the free throw line. Meanwhile, Justin Smith, only two points on a couple of free throws in the first half. Big mismatch with Bugs and Bandit. Wow. Give a repost. Or do that. <laughs> Moody. That's a better stepping up. A 7-3 and 6-5. See if Vanover goes inside. And set Arkansas with a three. Justin Smith. And off in a tick. There's Jackson, block number one. He happens. Kentucky, good start from three point land. Three of five. And there's a three from the corner. That one looked good the entire Years after, we played it, and it, it sort of was one of those wow, that, that one we didn't know about, and it became a record, uh, you know, it climbed the charts very quickly. If you were to advise Jimmy on a mute. Calipari to move inside the coaching box. I, I, I think that's what he did. To answer your, and now he's back in there with some really sweet shoes, by the way. <laughs> you, don't, you don't find those at Walmart. You're from Arkansas, man. You're buying shoes at Walmart. You don't, uh -uh. Nope. Those are sweet. Yeah, and the ground with his first bounce. And Justin Smith, first of all, could be posted up in the paint, not outside the paint, but a good find to play inside out by Arkansas. Now that's not it's a large family. And then within the family, there were smaller groups of families and of course the baseball family is as tight a knit group as we have at ESPN it's a small group a couple of threes tonight but this is not a a big three-point shooting club the threat is 23 driving that ball and that gap's got to be closed off about a half step Paris had this thing rolling they never lost six of seven no this is all new for him everyone in that Kentucky program Smith inside Wide open is Davis. He'll swing it around now to Moody. Moody fires, no good. Moses Moody. 16 to three, good move by Moody. Good ball fake. And there's a the jump shot. The second <laughs> Been there before. Been there before. Uh-oh. Baseline jumper. Smith will clank it. Off the back of the rim, but Moody is there to steal the lead. Five games have been heavily weighed to the two-pointer versus the three-pointer. Yeah, there's been a huge focus on shot selection. And that's what Moody's been Ben Howland is still continuing to perfect the ingredients of his team but he's going to have to do it quickly because the Razorbacks are truly heating up Fountain for that Smith uh, he's just going to have to make sure that he's set and doesn't allow uh, himself to be open for a call like that but as he's gotten into SEC play obviously they look at the scouting report they know that he can shoot the basketball uh, and it's become a lot more challenging, but I like his response. But his team has turned it over a season high 19 times now. We still have 15 minutes to play in this. I mean, it's just give Arkansas some credit, but quite frankly.
21 combined in the second half for those two. I thought this meant for Eric Musselman's Razorbacks. They go inside. That's where both of these teams like to do damage. It's tip. Both these teams in the top 50 in pace. They both play fast. Williams and Anderson. That's the area, Rich, where Arkansas struggles. They have really struggled all year to guard off the bounce. minutes so far in the first half. Missed the last couple of games due to COVID protocols. But here's his former roommate, Moses Moody, with the second bus damage mostly. Well, and not only that, Rich, he hasn't played. You know what I mean? He just, and who knows what he's been able to do in practice. It's not easy. It spins, can't hit. Last shot time for the Hogs. Here's Moody. Pulls up and knocks it down. Live ball turnovers, Rich, which allowed the runouts for Arkansas. Three from the corner. And then it was this Moody has nine. Kate Cunningham has ten. Here's Moody for three. Got it. Arkansas five for five from the field to start this half. And they make it six for six. Not that time. And I always remember a few games ago, Mike Boynton saying, we need his energy. We need him every game. Ten to shoot. Cade does. And not ball if, if must you know, draw some stuff up for his stud freshman. And of course, Kate Cunningham, he's going to have the ball in his hands a lot over the next three minutes your best player not being your best player i always talk about when i uh, scout an opponent how many different ways with how many different players can a team beat shots moody corner three off the mark more what are you trying to do to just try to get things in a better flow offensively well, I think maybe by playing Georgia, it will... Of course, Vanderbilt had their game postponed. Their last two midweek games have been postponed. Their only game was last Saturday against Tennessee. Got beat by 20 in that one as our... Here's suited up to play to that this afternoon. Justin Smith misses inside, but batted it back in play. Three-pointer from the corner, no good there. But a lot of bigs away from their defensive score assignments, and if he can do that, stretch a team, it makes Arkansas tough to guard. Last time out, 9-1, to one. so Jerry Stackhouse says, well, I'll try to fix that with the big fella in the middle. So far, it's worked. Hard to rebound a ball through the back the other way. Here's Moody working on Evans. Batted around. Boy, quick ball movement. Moody can't. Five. Six. Boy, nice ball fake by Moses Moody. Well, he's got great size at 6'6", six, six, can handle it. Well, such a valuable piece for this Razorback squad this year. Tapped around, aching up a little bit. Who does that favor? Well, both teams like to run and push. Uh, it, it favors uh, who's getting out ahead and who's not getting back defensively. The Razor. Four white jerseys attacking the glass. Vanderbilt was minus 10 in the rebound department in the first half. Not a good pass from Pippen Jr. That leads to Sills out the other way. Probably helps the Razorbacks only because Vandy's down enough bodies, right? Don't have enough bodies to come in and play. Arkansas wants to push. Scotty Pippen, they put a lot of pressure on him. The Malora Brown. That's a little bit short, but I'll say this, Sonny, despite what's been going on, we'll love that shot from Tate as he buries the three from the corner, and the lead is now 15, and that is the largest lead of the afternoon for Arkansas. Mississippi State, they made 10 threes in that game. They made 10 at Kentucky, had a chance to win that game. Um, those are the games offensively they're in it. Uh, the one thing that... Yes.
I, yes. But don't dude. even think about asking me that. Come on. Well, you should probably get that. It's your mom. Hello? Hi, hey, hi. Mrs. Tebow. Chicken and waffle sounds great. Nice talking to you too, Mrs. T. Yes. Yes. Hi. yes. SP and app. get tonight I do it's the kind of ball that we love to be a part of contact no whistle Moody Devin Cambridge turns it over he's got Arkansas right there on the verge as one of the last four teams in and so you can't have get different people different looks Moody, second shot attempt. This one short. Cooper did. And right. so patient, and it just seems so easy. But I'm also telling you what we're reading. You saw it today. I saw it as well. Him and Moses Moody, as a matter of fact. Yeah, Moody is. Response. He's got 16. It's to see what does Auburn look like if it's able to get Justin Powell back in the fold. Now, he bumped his head pretty hard a few weeks ago in a game that we had at Texas A&M. And here they come for more. And Sills traveling. Yes. I know Arkansas feels like Cooper got away with a push to start the possession. Take another look at the challenge at the rim. How oh, good is JT Thor? been as of late the freshman reclassified and kind of finding his offensive rhythm even from downtown he's got 11 tonight and I was really impressed with them at Rupp Arena the other night when he went down as opposed to last season they were so fragile from a toughness standpoint last year when Herb Jones was not in the lineup they could not win more of Herb Jones personality by the way you heard Alyssa and the gang at joking rightfully so about the pace of this one and the amount of points we may see exactly what they did to Arkansas and so again I applaud coach Musselman for not taking the easy way out and saying look we're not going to allow that uh, under under his watch Moses Moody on the fall away well if there has like it was the first three years a much more complete player and most likely a first team all SEC -er. Moody sticks the three not a huge player, but so effective as a rebounder, an offensive rebounder as well. And hangs around that paint. Not, not the exact same way Jimmy Witt did last year, but just. That was Jawan Gary, by the way, who blocked the prior attempt. Yeah, the key is, is just winning the first game, I guess. Got to get the, got to get a win on That's day right. one. Oh, buckets again. This time it's Shackelford. Seven leans in, swish. There's Jalen Tate, the fifth year senior, coming over from Northern Kentucky, a great addition in that transfer market. Alabama remains as red hot as it was this week. The win inside Rupp Arena, and now 20 day. That's the rest of the team from the field. Moody with the 14 of the 19 points. Shackelford and Petty have combined for 21. Moody, splash, right out of the game. Alabama's lead back to 21. Jalen Williams fouled by Ellis on the bounce. Well, it's a small thing, but... In the field, 39% from three, and 80% from the free throw line. He's actually the only player in the league. Well, if you can, if you can put it together, there's no question some of these Southeastern Conference schools um, are very motivated to support uh, a good basketball program. You're playing against some of the great ones, too. Uh, you asked me before the game, you know, it, it was Alabama, uh, what kind of run did they have during the 03 07 years? And uh, Ronald Steele, I think what really separates Nate Oates' team versus many of the past. Moody, who has 22, offline with that floater, and can't recall. Sills, that shot. Wiped away by Gary. Now Shackelford. Alabama on the attack. Sills looking for his teammate Henderson. Got bumped as he collected underneath. 
because he hadn't had a ton of minutes, but somebody that he felt like could really step up in Bruner's absence. And he's, you're right, he's given them some really solid minutes in this game. Here's Petty. His fifth three. It's icing on the cake for Petty. I mean, you cannot leave this guy. And, you know. It's at 6 o'clock on the SEC Network. You can also catch it anywhere on the app. Hey, Rick Barnes, by the way. It was a similar situation. What Alabama was doing to Arkansas is what Arkansas was doing to Georgia. I mean, they were dominating them specifically in the second half and playing some of the best basketball you've seen from a disappointing performance. And so, you know, at this point, Coach Musselman had his tough practice, but now you got to change your mindset a little bit. Factor involved in that. Hey, but Musselman said, you know, it's, it's like when you're playing two games back to back or four games and five just say all right because they were so successful in the non-conference play scoring you know 80 points per game it, it does when you can score that much mentally it doesn't hurt as bad when you give up those two we'll get into a little bit later on Don Daly puts it in the air and Arkansas controls the tip the Razorbacks coming off of a dominating win against Jordan percent here's Watford an air ball from point blank range Jimmy, it was interesting talking with Eric Musselman. They're Aren't they smart last year, Tom, finished at about 43% on shots at the rim. This year, he's above 60%, a much improved late scoring spot. He lives in that high right side slot area, and now, now, now the game is in his hands like I drew up on the board. Another got a good point. I, I think Arkansas, uh, excuse me, CC is going to get six or pro probably six seats on that jet. The, the one team that could get there is Tennessee. LSU has an all-time winning percentage better than 75%. And on their way to impacting that number. Here's Moody, the talented freshman stroke. Rise up to another level of competition. And if Arkansas has any chance of cutting into this game, five and red's got to go to work. Here he is again. He's just wearing people out, isn't he? Days? Yeah. He got eight or nine rebounds now in the game. Great hand, doesn't he? Great hands, and, and, and he's a, he, Days is unique. Starts with Nate Oates, their coach, in his second mm -hmm. season from Buffalo, playing the tempo that he wants to play. Big three for Desi Sills. Basket, and he also has three assists a ball game. If Will Wade puts a shooter in the left corner, now this becomes a one-on-one -on -one game as he drives to the left because you can't help off defense. And the holding the call. So now you push him off a little bit if you're Moses Moody. And then out, so that forces him to become a passer. LSU turned it over. Gaines was on the line. That's Eric Musselman, the, the, the playing card uh, from his dad there, tucked away in the corners, and a young Eric up there on the right. And, and those man, great memories and, and, and hang in the hunt and, and keep, stay on the heels of Alabama. We can't have a bad 10 minutes, which then kind of carries over to the next game. And he in the right place. But if your mind is already like three big steps towards the other direction, thinking offense, that's how you don't clean up boards. And, and Days has put a gauge on it during the course of a 40-minute game. It's probably shaded 70% thinking offense, 30% defense. And you, you, you can't fool KC. Thanks. Texas Tech, by the way, looking for its first ever Road top five win. They are 0 and 25 in that scenario and try to get it. And he at six foot ten will take many of those threes. Only a matter of time before they start falling. Here's the Farm Ridge starting lineup for Arkansas. He just wild shot. Jalen Williams down with his first rebound. In transition, Moody lets it go. So the hey, tough starts. Today. P.J. Hoare nails the three from the corner. I think first to 100 for either of these teams may do it today. Moody bench with two fouls. Seven lead changes already. How about the game these two provided a year ago? Moody offline with the three. Great adjustments to his game, guided by the, the boss himself, Eric Musselman. Tate flips it to Moody. Got it. From the logo. Matchup, what, 24 to 48 hours ahead of time. 
Yeah, how would you like to be the guy handling the scout on that game that all of a sudden is told, hey, all that work you've been putting in, uh, we got Ole Miss tomorrow. Fagan with the basket, the junior's first of the night. Three to go in the first half. Moody, jab step, lets it fly, and that's down. Davis, the freshman. The young hogs are playing excellent ball today. Moody got a piece. He's looking. He wants it. Freshman from Little Rock. Good look to Jackson. He eventually gets it and bounces out. Moody. Now 12 points. A funky release. He'd remind you of a Jimmy Witt from last year who mastered that 15-footer. Now 12 points for Kamara. You mentioned this name of 21 made baskets. Uh, they had an explosive offense last year. They could get points, but it was in a different variety. It was all kind of one-on-one -on -one ball screen action off the bounce. This year's team, Baton Rouge, gets get back late after a tough overtime loss, and then traveling once again. And then just the, the mental and, and emotional fatigue of just cost for taking care of business unless an incredible run is going to happen from Georgia at this point, and it would, it would take a or straight line drive and gets his body in there. Williams does such a nice job of just squaring his shoulders, showing his chest, making it a very easy call. Of the new boss. Uh, yeah, just, just credibility with some early yeah. offensive end, so it was worth it. I don't have that well, same issue this season. No, M Musselman last year, good really good pass and a good cut. And great recovery, scarred the ball against Alabama. And Eric Musselman has watched that film multiple times with his guys saying, let's spread Tennessee out, and when you have a chance, drive it hard. Jane, getting dirty baskets, body low baskets on the road is how you win in the SEC. No answer. Nice back cut. That is beautiful basketball. Vanover that time was in drop coverage, Tom, on a ball screen, meaning he didn't go out and try to impact the ball screen. He was trying to protect the rim. Vanover's better than the rest of his career. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody's uh, feelings. Wow. <laughs> Kentucky, when people are wondering if Cal's the right guy. Well, I'll go back to my coaching days at Kentucky when I was there with Eddie Sutton. I remember him telling me one time the Kentucky job is first on Vance Jackson. 18 turnovers for Arkansas in the game. Watch Johnson right here. He does a good job of staying under control, and then and, and, and you get out. Sometimes a mixture. Tillman has the first four for Missouri. He had 11 and nine in the win over Oregon. The first four points. Arkansas. Nice little rake. Davis takes it away end to end. That's what got him in the starting five. Offense and defense from Davis. And now Moody. Back. Right, but, you know, a kid that's really aggressive around the rim. Good defender. You have to be a good defender. That means Moses Moody at 6'6 has to play. But this is. Played well versus Arkansas last year. Into the corner. A nice pass, nice patience. Stepping into those threes. Moody. Steps in the line for Arkansas. Hits the first three of the game for Mizzou. But they got to the lane, collapsed the defense. He got them organized. Moody spins in tight, rejected by Drew Smith. Give it up. Good defender, good rebounder. <laughs> Off the free throw, miss. Follow will go from Moose play. And over two big time attempts. Negate it. Moody step back. Travel He's hurt. What a talent that kid is. And Baker, he just loves to play. Moody. Well, well he looks fresh too. He's ready to play. 18 for Tillman. What a great help side defense. Oh. Brown 20 and 10 now for Jeremiah Tillman. Nearing his career high in scoring. Note couldn't get it. Fight for the rebound. As he walls off, contests. Great balance though. White shirts unable to get out and run. That's sort of a 
Whereas Arkansas are really much more aggressive since Eric has been thrown out. I think they, they're concerned about their next meeting with him. Moody in the corner. That was solid basketball team. And I'm a little disappointed in Arkansas. I, I think they're better than they played today, and I think they will be. Just talking some tough road games. You mentioned tall point.
one. Alabama waits the winner in the SEC championship tomorrow at 1 Eastern. Can Arkansas get hot defensively? And more importantly, can Arkansas start cleaning up the miss? Way off the mark. Rebound to the hands of Devo Davis. Vanover buries it. Here come the Hawks. Tate. Got it. Arkansas. It's a little bit. It feels pretty well. <laughs> I had to catch yeah. myself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know. You can look side every now and then. That's okay. <laughs> JD Note playing quickly today as well. Yeah, quickly, but not really getting into the paint. Boom! Big time action by Justin Smith. Love to see. His body, even with contact, is not called. Strong physical guard that plays really well when the body comes into him as a shooter. There's the mini microwave. I'm getting sloppy here. Moody triple team. Oh, what a play by Moody. Can't let Watford go to a strong hand. Arkansas has been really good at forcing teams weak. I, th I think Arkansas, when I watch him play Ravi, I know they are. They're probably the best in this league. At I think it's a couple of games ago, Ravi, I was telling you about it, trying to teach you some more stuff. You can't measure it by analytics. But good, good luck. luck. Gives you and play with speed under control. Moody and Pitty going at each other. They dump it to Henderson. He steps through two tied players. Too easy. But with his people, his managers around him, I just know this from talking to two different NBA guys who have a ton of respect for in the last 24 hours. They have a lot of concern now for how that kid is to be in a Boston Celtic locker room one time right after a ball game. And the coach had finished speaking, and Joe Klein brought me in there. But just 15 minutes after the game. Of Oklahoma State freshman scoring. Kick out, air ball. And a push ahead. Desi Sills will run underneath it and get it to go. Moody feeds Smith, and that'll be a blocking foul. Tied up. Lobs it up front. Sills. They got 10 on the clock now. Moody. Inside and an easy bucket on the look to Davis. He looks to be first SEC start. Well, you just said it, Dave. In his first SEC start. Then they have the past couple years. Rich picking up three-quarter court just to force Arkansas to take some time to slow them down, but this zone has been porous. Good bounce pass to Smith. Couldn't spot the hoop that time. Ben over attacking, and that's something Eric Mussman wants to well, Note thought about it. Sills whips it inside to Moody. Still only has three points. There it is, Note. Pippen. Lost the handle, they're gonna... They're going to say he's knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to Vanderbilt. They're going to look back at the end of this year, and if things go well for them and, and as they are projected to be in the NCAA tournament as well, they're going to look back at that game, and maybe that's the one that got them. Jalen Williams also on the court for the Hawks. Corner three. Ten is on net. That's a big one. Yeah, they played a lot of the – Pre-conference at home, uh, where you, you do nothing but feel good about yourself. And a rebound now to Devo Davis. Nice back to her cut. There's Justin Smith throwing it down. On a night like tonight, Jimmy, how hard is that? Yeah, it, it's, it's really tough. It's interesting. I was watching it at halftime, Tom. Arkansas came out of the locker room with, with about... This was 20 at the half. And 22 now. In a big early conference play hole. Both have lost back to back. Arkansas with its lone SEC win against Auburn. Every time he's going to have to get the, the little Euro step to his game, get the defense to respect 
him going back to the right side of the basket before they cut him off that way every time. Get down the lane but can't finish. Approaching a minute mark in the first half. It's Arkansas by four. Extra pass and another three. Got to the lane. Moody sets him up. A lot of pick and pop. Nice Ooh. cut. Oh, what a great screen. At that time, the Auburn offense. He's too important. And right on cue, Justin Smith walks to check in. Who we haven't seen back in the game after his start was Connor. Right now, they're not really testing Arkansas, the defensive discipline of LSU. A 15 to 2 run the last five minutes. Watford double teamed. They go all the way to the rack. How about the defense? And Gaines comes up with another big block, his second of the day. Been three-point touch. He's got Pinson guarded him, guarding him now, and that leaves Tillman on Justin Smith. Walk Arkansas turnover. Tillman last night when we talked about not having Jalen Williams. Of note with Vanover is not just what he does defensively. Here's Pinson with the takeaway, full guarded at the top of the key. I, I just don't think that's a shot that Missouri wants early in the shot clock. Kobe Brown with a trail three. Moody tipped over his own teammate with no down the lane. 
Justin Smith in the perfect spot. He's got 14. Tom, the value of a guard in March that can drive and just get the ball up on the rim is so important. That seems to have shifted now. Alabama's been there the entire season and still are there. Arkansas seems to have supplanted both Tennessee and Missouri. Yeah, I, I would. We'll shoot a few more threes. There's a turnover. Moses Moody, two on one. Is it a charge? It is. And Herb Jones draws the in his suitcase when he started traveling. So um, I think it's a long, long line of letter writing and note writing. That's to, to, to Eric. Like, she knows the game. Like, she can really break it down. And this was the good. This was the bad. And I, I think he pays attention even more than maybe he was sucking up defensive rebounds. A real problem to handle because of that length. But that would, that, that would have been amazing. I was showing it all out there. The series started in 1950. There we go. That I'm was, slow. That was one of the notable ones. Moody, the top 16 release. Uh, obviously, the Big Ten, you got two number one seeds in Michigan and Ohio State. You got Illinois in there. I mean, the, the Big Ten has been the best conference in the country, without a doubt. And it's. ISO for Moody. To Van Over, but they'll wave it off. An offensive foul. He isn't forced the game. That's part of what I like about it. But at times, he's going to have to take him, take about the scruff of his neck. And an Arkansas turnover. Tigers with a chance to get the lead. All he has to do is just jump straight up, and if he doesn't block shots, he often alters shots like he did against Tony Smith. Traveling violation against Moses May Stewart. Iverson Molinar need to get it going, and there is Stewart. That's his second basket of the game. Molinar had six points in the first half. Stewart just two. It's in a step here in the second half. Another turnover by the Bulldogs. And then Arkansas gives it right back. Well, much to the chagrin of Mike Boynton, Chris, you forecasted accurately. It's a two-point game, mostly because Arkansas has seven Come on. a little earlier. Come on. Come on, man. I forget you read the game notes. <laughs> well, this Off is what Ole Miss wants. Yep. Kind of refreshing to hear a head coach talk that way, wasn't it? I thought it was. That's why we had to ask him about it. Quad one, this is the time of year where it starts to matter. Schuler off his steal. And that means anything in particular, because I, I don't know that I've seen that kind of scenario said at least that way. Well, it tells me that Kermit Davis is searching. Okay. Start to the season. But if he can get on the board early, maybe he get, gets his confidence going. Moody might have got away with a little travel regardless. Man. He didn't do contact. You could hear Coach Stack in the background saying, that's a foul. Here's Pippen the other way. That's going to be his think, second. I don't think Bruce Pearl liked that offensive foul call. Hogs give it right back. And usually players don't like volunteering for that role. But Cambridge is flourishing, and yet another turnover. The ring finger on Tuesday inside Rupp Arena. Arkansas careless early on with a few turnovers. And even when they get consecutive stops, Arkansas just unable to put together a string of makes on the other end. Eddie rises and fires on that jump shot. Those are stylish kicks, too. Yeah. Corner three, Wilkinson gets it for the season late December. I said, where is your favorite place on the floor to score? And like any great scorer, he said, simply anywhere. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Fan of his post-bucket celebrations. Watford with the lean in. First bucket of this half. That's just that ISO stuff for Watford, man. That the elbow area seems to play in the league. And this program is trying to get back to where it feels it rightfully belongs. The NCAA tournament for the first time in three years. And is that Bait you in, it was no, I'm going at the rim to score and get myself to the free throw line. And as soon as you give attention there, we're going to start kicking it out. And as you said, Tazerbacks. Nice hands. Tipped away. Sills gets it started. And now the Hogs answering the call. All Auburn is going to get a lot.
can move up to a one and a two. Tennessee did themselves a lot of good today. I think they could slide up to a five. And LSU, Missouri, and Florida. has got to find the guys that are scoring the ball. Haku's not one of them. The block at the rim by who came in and didn't make an impact offensively, but then a tough pass to handle and a turnover. LSU with numbers. Watford, that ball's good. He was hurt that first matchup against Alabama. Having him back may be an X factor. Pull up three, way short. Message, well, Jimmy. What do what? I said hard message. They sat Petty down for a game. Yes. Told him you gotta learn, you gotta be better on D. Just simple and quiet. Yeah. Yep, whether it's a jump shot or a free throw, absolutely. There's a little defense from Moody, too. Tell tell me one thing in this moment, and then I carry it forward for the next 10 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours if need be, and keep it in mind. That's what the whole thing is. Up. Up. Hogs have been 12 of 17 in the second half. Rejected by Moody. He has eight. Arkansas leads again by nine. See, this double is all designed to get the opponent games he's only got a total of five points early in the season he knocked in a lot of jump shots took a lot of bigs away from their defensive score assignments and if he can do that straight are. the lead was once 19 it's now seven Williams because this kid can shoot it from deep seven foot three <laughs> And it it's Missouri on the run again. Blocked at the rim. Getting no take it. commits his second on the high low. Go ahead, Jimmy. Coach, against a, against a team that is so good defensively, I think it's to your advantage to give the input and let, let, let David speak. The last thing you want in a day like today, Tom, is all of a sudden you got five voices in the huddle all saying something different because that'll be his second. Well, one thing you notice in this basketball game. They get a miss from Note and a rebound to Samson George. Bergerson is the score for this team. Had that one. I tell you, the, the NCAA tournament is, is magical. Um, and especially a team who. Go up. For, no, for um, <laughs> Saw has the potential to get to the Final Four. Those are the two teams out of this league, I think, are built to go further than anyone else. Tough shot. The ability to relate to the student. He just relates to basketball players really well. He does with his dad, the former NBA coach. Got Arkansas not letting that ball get reversed. They're downing everything on the sides. Kobe Brown hit a couple of key. Here's Emmanuel Miller, team's leading scorer, gets it to Jackson, fires away, and not 33% shooter from behind the arc. His 24th made three of the year. Jackson fires and rips the Ooh. some 500 rebounds and Savion, one of the terrific players in a career at AM. 839%, so he improved his game. Uh, has been inconsistent on really both ends of the floor. You get defensive spot, defensive stop, spread to your spots, and let it fly. They leave seventh Woods. Lawson gets it to Bryant. Here's Hannibal. A.J. Lawson on the run. Lawson to his right. Layup is no good. Missed the gimme. Well, maybe he'll get three here. That won't happen. And Desi Seals just wants to continue to throw it in there. He was one of five from behind the arc. Just three points in this game because he is more than capable. Two of the top six freshman scorers in the country in this game. Number three and that one. Kate had a block from behind. Maybe been Thomas who got it. Javante. Wide open. Man. Hierarchy shot misses the rebound is picked up for LSU and he kick three <laughs> Thomas steps right into a three and that's off no Ted that ball is blocked good recovery by Josh LeBlanc and here comes Watford three ball money smart he was hurt that first matchup against Alabama having him back may be an X factor pull up three Way short, huge Big Ten college hoop doubleheader tomorrow. 
love what Luca Garza said about a month ago. He said, we ain't messing up. Yeah, Marquette with a losing record goes into Chapel yeah. Hill and won't be surprised if that next bracket, North Carolina is sitting there out or last four in. Primo Smith with an deflection in the team. Reese, no good. Keon Ellis will try a three. That's no easy to get himself to the free throw line. Arkansas has got really good individual pieces that are unique, and they blend together really, really well. He separated, but he couldn't get that to go, and Scotty Lewis pulls it down. He can train Mann in the backcourt with that guy, Tyron Appleby, in the corner. Mann, three, that's wide open. Saw on the defensive end. You can hear their voices really alert early. Still missed Appleby. It worked once. It won't. And he just missed it. And he's down. He's going to get up. It's like he's okay. But the numbers favor the Gators. Answer and should have to answer going forward as he prepares for that NBA. Moses Moody knocks that one down. 2015. Three ball lock corner. Yeah, effortless stroke by Moody. About 6'6. Six, six. Study hardcore X and O basketball from Jimmy Dykes here. Got him again. But they got to get that guy. Wants his mom to know what a what a ended great one lady. of the notes with "Don't forget to have your players eat their vegetables." Like things Absolutely. he's probably not focused on, but really important. Castleton came out to block it. Man, reverse it very. He has a great touch around the basket. Of course, he can knock down threes, too. Brown will drive. Shares it. Mark Smith. Corner Drew Smith. Missouri not yet in the bonus. Here's Watson. Try to bring Pinson off a down screen. Let's see if they do it again. Smith, bounce to the corner. Here's Mark Smith with an air ball. He'll shoot that. Javante Smart, that's off. So I'll do it again. Thank you. And you're right, Jimmy. There's a smoothness about him. Contact underneath. No whistle blows. Javante Smart. To short. The Alabama, a winner in that one. Gaines forced it. LSU doing a good job of getting the ball to the middle of the floor. Arkansas, they like to pin you on in there. Very, very active defense. Thomas, Days, and Watford inside that paint. I don't think you can drop your way into this ball. Was the scheduling with all those new guys coming together for the first time. Eric Musselman was right on top of it. Bob Pickett couldn't get it to. Why was Eric Musselman so concerned with Xavier Pinson? Well, Pinson made 5 3. Proving your seed. Kate Cunningham is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. By the way, Ohio State needed overtime to Sir Brown. One possession game suddenly. Mizzou on a seven nothing run. Game on Wednesday night, they had a solid performance. He wasn't. He didn't care about what the numbers said. He was happy his guys got to play. Thousand point score uh, that the Arkansas Razorbacks have. So many weapons. You're going to have to score points if you're South Carolina. Optimistic, and you see as they've been on this nine game winning streak. The difference there, their ability to score points, they're 12th in the nation. Uh, you look at. Here's Bryant. He'll take the three. Way too strong. 17 18, but I would think trending closer to seven than he is toward the 20s. No doubt. South Carolina playing quickly today as well. Yeah, quickly, but. Back, that is. An air ball. Lawson. He fires away. Well, see, that's the key tournament play. There's Manaya. He gets bumped by Vanover at the logo. Here to pass that get off the hands of Williams. 
LSU tried to run almost an impossible behind the backboard deep winning in order to stay. They're close to that bubble. A couple of uh, misses from Arkansas there, and Smart couldn't roll over the front of the rim. Walker's going to drive it. We'll step back for a good job Arkansas to cover up that right hand. Days continues to struggle from the floor to J.D. Note and the foul. They're up 20 and an exclamation point. Arkansas is on the verge of running L. You're not just another policyholder to us. We remember your name. Hi, Cheryl. He remembered me. And those Blazers, he was looking for the two-for-one deals. Now they're custom-tailored <laughs> and looking fine on the sideline. Petty right by Moody. He got fouled. He didn't call it. Looked like he grabbed his left hand. Quinterly in the corner. No good. And Alabama cold in the first half from three, starting out the... Another three miss from Bruner, and maybe they're laying off him a little. Doing a lot of dribbling, man on the baseline gets it to Castleton. Fired one up. Hey, who's playing a good? A freshman. They're already down Castleton, and now it looks like Omar Payne is dealing with a leg issue. That shot from the corner is missed. In his suitcase when he started traveling. So um, <laughs> I think it's a long, long line of. Letter writing. Active around the ball without fouling for a freshman. Daruji hard to the hole. That's blocked. Outstanding effort, Justin Smith. That's the freshman Moody with the bucket. Missouri was announced today. One of the top 16 seeds as of today. Not the case in Maui. Uh, no, not. One of Just hearing you say the word Maui hurts my heart a little bit. A couple fouls for him too is never what you want to see. He had two fouls as well, so the foul trouble has played a factor for both these teams, and we'll see how Smith as the number 16 overall seed. Contested three. Didn't make it to the rim, and a shot. Got a pump fake fan over, spun around him. And Moody comes out of there with it. Boston pulls up. Boy, they are aggressive, and they're not taking a lot of time on the three, and that one doesn't drop for him. Cam Thomas blow by, and he goes to the right. Alabama put up in game one. Outstanding yeah. Alabama, a winner in that one. Good action, just missed the shot. Fake the, fake the drive and handoff exactly in line with what the coaching staff at the high school was doing. They ultimately transferred out to Oak Hill Academy. And then, of course, he then quickly... Well, Perry feels like what he missed on this year was the scheduling with all those new guys coming together for the first time. Eric Musselman was right on top of Jeremiah Tillman guarded by Ethan Henderson, who was a starter last year, hadn't played much this season. Home seat for the NCAA tournament. He's on quite a roll. Yeah, Tommy, such a force, man. He plays with such good pace and speed. His big body is big. A pick, pop guy once in a while, but more for his physical play. Jackson, good. Always off the dribble. Here's Miller. Back to flag. Now Jackson. Well, I thought Savion Flag might have given up a three, but he gets the two. I mean, he had moments like this a year ago, which is why he was a preseason All-SEC second team selection. Emmanuel Miller fouled on the way. He's got to find the guys that are scoring the ball. Baku's not one of them. The block at the rim by... Against the Red Heart Arkansas Razorbacks, who... Uh, Sit here with a record of 19 and 5, 11 and 4 in league play. Lee. It's almost like right now South Carolina is trying to hang on. More than capable of winning that. I think they're one of the 16 best teams in the country right now. So what what are they? If you were to point your screen in the corner, under eight on the shot clock for Petty gets the high screen and the drive, and wow, throws it up with the left. Four out, one on the inside, create big gaps and drive it. There you go, Alabama. That, that's who you are. Petty right by Moody. He got fouled. He didn't call it. Message, Ooh, foul. Jimmy. What? Do what? I said hard message. They sat Petty down for a game. Yes. Told him, you got to learn. you got to be better on defense. 
Shackelford will. He spins. He'll also do that to the hole. No good. Gary had a chance. Really good defense by Note. Ten on the shot clock for Locke, who penetrates and has nowhere to go. He kicks to Lewis. In big eight play. I mean, my ears aren't the best. I think you said 1950s when you meant 19 nuts. Uh, up. Hugs have been 12 of 17 in the second half. Rejected by Moody. In front, making you work. I like this by Eric Muscle. Drew Smith trying to get Justin in the air. Nothing doing. Here's Mark Smith with the drive. And the whistle. You cannot possibly step back to propel yourself forward from that spot. It wasn't subtle either. No, it was, it, it was a good two feet up. When he went out of bounds. A fatigue there. Avon Smith kicks it back to Johnson. In the lane, lays it up. We'll be seeing Cade early and often, we expect. Gives Arkansas their first lead since 21-19 in the first. Elves. You know, down the stretch, it'll be interesting if Eric Musselman, Moody, of course, plays off the ball. If, if Muss, you know, draws. Securing a bye, meaning avoiding the first four. Ole Miss will have an opportunity here in the next couple of weeks to also sneak in because they've got a low go and going to call an offensive foul against the Commodores and D.J. Harvey. Yeah, pretty much every one final shot here from Arkansas at the horn, and that one's off the top of the backboard, but that'll do it. Arkansas puts up a 45 spot through the first half. The rebound. Yeah, needed to make the extra pass there. The throwback to Vanover was open. And the put that so few players are, are skilled at these days. Look at that, the rest of the team just one point. Quick Alabama can go from rebound to transition three. Kayla Tate lines it up. Nothing doing on the three for Arkansas. LSU the other way. Javante Smart, no. Fine. One slot above them in that defensive efficiency rank. Both top five Ken Palm defenses. Cutting it to it a little bit right now. Good job by Devo on the ball. Here's Hyatt. The mom at the elbow, like 15, 16 feet away. Hard to keep him from catching that basketball. Describe windshield wipe. Days with the re rebound. What were you going to say, Jimmy? Never solicit personal information via text. To learn more, visit us online. From all of us at the Secret Service, be vigilant and close from Jalen Tate. Miss Watford, see you later, right by Vanover in an easy. Smart pulls up, gets. Downhill take. Henderson mid. LSU doing a good job of getting the ball to the middle of the floor. Arkansas. Same game. ISO game. Are you going to double? If you do, he'll pick you part as a passer. To this day, does a 90 minute individual workout outside of the normal practice time. That's how you get better. A little bit of intimidation factor, you know? Right. I mean, in March, he's on the sidelines, look down the other bench, he's like, man, I better be really <laughs> tough too, but now it'll be a one point, uh, one possession game, and it is. 28 points in the game for Moses Moody. Ooh. And Javon Pickett with the follow, but we were talking about this earlier, a lot to gain for Arkansas. If they go on a run, they could end up a two seed. Arkansas right now, according to Joe Leno. He's got to find the guys that are scoring the ball, but who's not one of them? The block at the rim by that sequence of events. Now, who, which team handles that best down the street? Getting guys back, and now you're seeing a Justin Smith who had ankle surgery, missed a couple of weeks. He's now back probably 90, 95%. South Carolina shooting 29%, but only trail by six, and they will turn it over. All Javante Smart. He starts along with Cameron Thomas, their best offensive player, Andre Hyatt, who has the ball and took it to Vanover, and that was a...
in any game. Watford had the big one against him in the first meeting. And there's a nice take, but Smart came up a little. Jason Baker, Pat Adams, the officials for this SEC on ESPN game. Thomas in the lane, and he was able to get one in white. Drill and arms are up, and they're not fouling you. You're shooting one running. Yes, Probably going to go into column. Probably going to go into column. <laughs> Good drive at the rim, and that one is just totally took a ball fake by Devo Davis, who's not a three-point shooter, and allowed the guy to drive right by him and make a play. And he's going to be somewhere in that top 25. Guys taking in the next draft. Not an explosive athlete. Yeah, Cam Thomas really isn't either, but Moses Moody hurt Muslim to his guys, and they've responded. Big picture, this is a big game for LSU, Jimmy. They are a not I think are playing the best. And Arkansas is on top of that list. Followed by Alabama. I think the floor Thomas. First pass, 27-foot jump shot, doesn't go down, and he just triggers Arkansas's run game. And Thomas comes with impacts every ball game. Loose ball gatherer, hard driving guy around the rim. Take got Quinterly, the roll by Vanover, and the quick hands knocks it away. Good bounce pass to Keon Ellis. Followed is just too strong in conference play. Quinterly shooting 53% from three. Watch out. Herb Jones with the flush on a pass off the game. He's got nine. Moody's got ten. What do you want your point guard to do, man? He can guard the one through five for you. You can take him off the ball and let him score from the short corner. To, to get Justin Smith tucked away in the far corner, kind of use him as a decoy like nothing's going to happen here. Boom, and a violent cut got him right at the rim. Message, foul. Jimmy. What? Do what? I said hard message. They sat Petty down for a game. Yes. Told him, you got to learn. you got to be better on defense. Just simple and quiet. Yeah. Yep. Whether it's a jump shot or a free throw. Absolutely. There's a little defense from Moody, too. Cam Thomas, Cade Cunningham, and a Mobley kid at Southern Cal. Yep. Dude's a difference maker, man. Appleby, hard drive, finger road. One quad, one win on the season. This would be huge for the Hogs to win on the road. Hey! Drive, blocked at the rim, but we get a... Arker over Saar, and he gets it to go for Arkansas's first two. Yeah, Arkansas plays fast, as does Kentucky. They're going to run it right up your backside. Alabama put up in game one. Outstanding yeah. Alabama, a winner in that one. Good action, just missed a shot, fake the fake the drive as handoff and exactly in line with what the coaching staff at the high school was doing. They ultimately transferred out to Oak Hill Academy. And then of course he then quick Jeremiah Tillman guarded by Ethan Henderson, who was a starter last year, hadn't played much this season. And nothing run. That is and a now charge. Kobe Brown the turnover. Hear the call from Conzo, see where Missouri wants to go here. Tillman not on the floor right now. Here's Kobe Brown. It does sound like there's a good crowd at Bud Walton. And this year, any. <laughs> right? You know those good shooters. That's almost no rim. <laughs> and right. Now to take a look at tonight's protection spotlight brought to you by Allstate and certainly defense has been a key work. Four out, one on the inside, create big gaps and drive it. There you go, Alabama. That, that's who you are. Tell, tell me one thing in this moment and then I carry it forward for the next 10 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours if need be and keep it in mind. That's what the whole thing is. Uh, uh. Hogs have been 12 of 17 in the second half. Rejected by Moody. Confidence. The thousand point score looks to have more of a bounce in his step here in the second half. Another turnover by the Bull. We'll be seeing Cade early and often. We expect. Off the rebound. Yeah, needed to make the extra pass there. The throwback to Vanover was open. And the put. Advantage that so few players are, are skilled at these days. Look at that, the rest of the team just one point. Quick Alabama can go from rebound to transition three. Jayla Tate lines it up.
Not to do it on the three for Arkansas. LSU the other way. Javante Smart, no. Finds five. That foul on Moses Moody in the open floor. His first. Here's Watford for three. What a one slot above them in that defensive efficiency rank. Both top five Ken Palm defenses. Uh, on my wall behind me as we speak, had Mark Few not subbed me out of the game. <laughs> he tapped you on the shoulder. Never solicit personal information via text. To learn more, visit us online. From all of us at the Secret Service, be vigilant and. Benson. Major back fans thought he walked. Because you got Tillman, he ends up with a turnover. They really have three handlers out here. Makes it tough. Mark. To the basket and, and don't receive a pass. That opens up a dribble drive angle for a teammate. Eric, you, you told me yesterday, and I, I thought about they have it battle tested on the road at those teams, Missouri, Wichita State, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma. So no surprises here. And Strong drive to the hoop by R.J. Glasper, who has it for the basket. Central Arkansas loves to go. But for Arkansas playing six games, they're just hoping to gain some valuable playing time, some experience that comes from all of these. So, so they've had the luxury of being around each other, you know, due to COVID-19 and just not being able to do much besides, you know, learn one another, learn. Um, you can tell he's, he's just got that scoring talent that, you know, not a lot of guys have. Step back three won't go. And, 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 and reel off, you know, six, seven baskets in a row. Dizzy's had more dunks, too, than uh, the Delta Devils have had points until that. Better to, to see you match up against another team, a team that doesn't see you, what you do every day in practice, uh, a team that you don't. Three, and that one doesn't drop for him. Cam Thomas flow by, and he goes to the right. Here's Emmanuel Miller, team's leading score. Gets it to Jackson, fires away, and not. 33% shooter from behind the arc. His 24th made three of the year. Jackson fires and rips the net. Lawson gets it to Bryant. Here's Hannibal. A.J. Lawson. Corner Drew Smith. Jay to the free throw line. No Jay, a 78% free throw shooter. Team shoot 73 from detour in the SEC Big 12 challenge over the weekend. And a guy that just got his first SEC. This is a crucial game, but this would also be a quad one win, which is between 1 and 75 on the road. Rebounds. Having a big second half for Arkansas. Well, they do a nice job. You see good games. He's only got a total of five points. Early in the season, he knocked in a lot of jump shots, took a lot of bigs away from their defensive score assignments. And if he can do that, stretches of victory. Some of these games have gone. Yes, I mean some of the no spreads doubt. just are shocking. But uh, as all the coaches are dealing with uh, some practice, limited practice, I'm always looking for something, somewhere, somehow, for you just to think about. So Vanderbilt averages 54 people at a ball game because it's only family. That's what they do. So okay. Slater, Missouri, where he grew up. Didn't he? Uh, did did he almost come to Missouri? Was he thinking he should have? He should have. Should have. Whether don't he was or not, he's right. never coached in Rapid City that never got to put on an NBA uniform. And and, and you know Tony Dawson from Florida State as oh, an yeah. alum you are. He was the yeah. rhythm quickly. Yeah, I don't think he's falling out of it anytime soon. Eleven points for Petty. Meanwhile, Note head fake and drive. You'll see Pons and Folky do it in this ball game several times and they will need that extended release tonight against Vanover who's averaging almost three blocks a game. Correction, that foul on Tennessee a moment ago was on EJ and a sick. Big fella into the game. Here's a straightaway shot. Uh, third by Tate, I should say. Here's Jane for the Wildcats out of the Southland Conference. Three ball is off the mark. Against Note it, commits his second on the high low. Go ahead, Jimmy. Coach, against a, against a team that is so good defensively, 
I think it's to your advantage. We tell Desi, hey, we got to stay down. This team is more known for its dribble penetration than its three ball, um, whereas our last shots early. Arkansas scored 47 in the first half. Really shot the ball well. Nice drive. And it rolls home. Arkansas offensively can get just about whatever they want. So many weapons, so much depth, the pace in which they play. But defensively is what the ability to relate to the student. He just relates to basketball players really well. He does with his dad, the former NBA coach. Mitchell Smith has already fouled out from Missouri. Jeremiah Tillman's got four. Henderson three. Tate three. Davis four. And attack you. If you're looking at A&M, if you're a, if you're a Razorback fan, is a guy up top, number one, Savion flag. J.J. Chandler can do it. Nice back cut. A good layup. Great pat. I mean, he had moments like this a year ago, which is why he was a preseason All-SEC second team selection. Emmanuel Miller fouled on the way. That we have heard all season long. Miller lowers the shoulder, picks up. The you get defensive spot, defensive stop, sprint to your spots, and let it fly. They leave seventh woods. <laughs> Thomas steps right into a three, and that's off. Your screen in the corner, under eight on the shot clock for Petty. Gets the high screen and the drive, and wow, throws it up with the left. 38, a very important 20 minutes ahead of us. Alabama trying to wrap up their first SEC title in a long time. Shackelford will. He spins, will also do that to the hole. No good. Gary had a chance. Good. Just constantly putting you in ball screen, duck in. Ball screen, duck in. I saw Twitter family been very engaged tonight, and we appreciate it. Gator family as well. Moving screen Man. right away, yeah. Searching for that 4 6 0 run. Normally it's triggered by 12 in blue and Trey Mann right now. Trey Mann, Sutton has to like driving that ball. Yep. Nope. Big trip here for the Gators. Lock. Got it. In big eight play. I mean, my ears aren't the best. I think you said 1950s when you meant 19. No. Thank you. I know, honestly, I thought it was a block. I'm over here running my mouth, but I assumed it was a block. The three-pointer. I liked his odds on that one since he'd hit the one before from the same spot. Shot. I thought his three-pointer was open. Go ahead and let it fly. Haven't heard a lot from Moses Moody. Times you try to just <laughs> enter the paint, you're going to have second thoughts about it. Look at the lob. Wide open is... in the SEC. NATO wants five guys that can pass, dribble, shoot on the court at the same time. And this Arkansas. 57% shooting, but double digits and turnovers for Arkansas here in this first half. Arch shot. Zag is worth staying up late for. It's not even that late for them. 8.30 Eastern? Yeah. Now just thinking about the, the, the Baylor, the most dynamic backcourt in college. Foul trouble. He is relentless. Jalen Tate, grad transfer from Northern Kentucky. This is Pickett all the way to the rim with a little bit of a settle. Once in a while, it gets stuck on one side of the floor, Arkansas. Xavier Pinson, pull off, floater. Empty side ball screen. Drew Smith attacks and off. Finish it off with a make.
Kane seemed to be settling and playing a lot of one-on-one -on -one offense. As Watford tries to back Davis down, he does. Moody reaches in. And it does sound like there's a good crowd at Bud Walton. And this year, any Bud Walton has been maybe one of the best. Coach Musselman talked about that at his press conference. He do diary, and that's defend. Uh, well, you got to play some defense to win in this league. Now to take a look at tonight's protection spotlight brought to you by Allstate, and certainly defense has been a key word. Been there the exact same amount of time. The only difference, really, Alabama will shoot a few more threes. There's a turnover. Moses screen of Castle in the work off of now sets him up to roll. Bad pass. Castle. Thank you. I know, honestly, I thought it was a block. I'm over here running my mouth, but I assumed it was a block. Quick move, Drew Smith. A drive and a kick. Brown finds it and loses it. Arkansas grabs it with 13. There, there's the foul. When did the foul occur? It occurred before the shooter. In this case, it's Jackson with a tip. Gets his hands on the ball. And uh, if you've been howling, you have to be very concerned. Taken away by Smith. Confidence. The thousand point score looks to have more of a bounce in his step here in the second half. Another turnover by the Bulls. Because when you look at the resume and you look at what Joe Lenardi put out earlier today, ESPN's bracketologist, Devin Cambridge turned a roster with so many different new faces. You talked about old, young, experienced, non. Just making it very difficult. So now you've pushed him off a little bit if you're Moses Moody. And then that, so that forces him to become a passer. Jackson skips into the paint. Davis, the freshman. The young hogs are playing excellent ball today. I mean, this, <laughs> he, he wants to go that way every time. He's going to have to get the, the little Euro step to his game, get the defense. Benson, Razorback fan thought he walked. Because you got Tillman. He's knocked down a couple of three-pointers, but...